of course. And that is, let's say, I like your question very much, since it's a summary of all the stereotypes that you can find on, on photo novels. And as soon as you start, I'm collecting that material. And as soon as you start reading it, you notice that actually, let's say, these stereotypes, which are there, but there's always a second level in the case of, let's say, the Italian photo novel production, hmm, uh, there is very rapidly a neorealist tendency. Hmm. You know, for instance, that Savatini hmm, uh, has made photo novels uh, as well, hmm, and they have been shown in uh, Reggio Emilia two, three years ago. Uh, very, let's say, politically committed and anti-sexist um, um, uh, photo novels with a very strong let's say, anti-establishment, anti-male gaze, uh, etc. Um, uh, position. But you also know that, and in, during that ex exhibition in Reggio Emilia, they showed the contract between Zavattini and Mondadori. And in the contract, it was clearly stipulated that Mondadori didn't have the right to reveal that actually the photo novel had been written by Zavattini. Hmm? And Zavattini didn't want to, let's say, to compromise himself with the ugly world of the photo novel. But once again, once you enter, when, when you accept to read it, you discover many, many different things. Um, and personally, and, and let's say, a lot of people who work on, on photo novels um, tend more and more to believe that photo novels you are absolutely right. It's a kind of visual romance um, uh, genre. You're absolutely right on that. But the, the, let's say the, the, the fundamental message hmm, is something that goes into the direction, but a kind of more mainstream accepted direction of um, female emancipation. It is very clear that in 99%, I'm slightly exaggerating, 99% of the photo novels, the, the protagonist is, um, is a woman, hmm? and a woman who during, um, or thanks to, let's say, the conflicts she has to face during the, the story, hmm, is not only allowed, but forced to take personal decisions for the rest of her life. And these personal decisions do not always, certainly not always, in spite of all the stereotypes that you can read everywhere, they certainly do not always, let's say, um, produce at the end of the story the, the happy marriage. Not at all. Hmm? It's always, let's say, very... You have to, 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 to contextualize it, of course. You are in the 40s, the 50s, so... It's a different, uh, a different era, but these female protagonists are really presented as independent women, hmm? taking, let's say, uh, being in charge of their own life. Hmm? And for the audience, hmm? you mentioned young girls, adolescents, that is a stereotype as well. There have been a lot of, let's say, sociological surveys, hmm? and we know today that uh, in the case of Grand Hotel, for instance, hmm, that 40% of the readership was male. 40%. Hmm, which at the, in the heydays of, of Grand Hotel in the 50s. Hmm, and the average age of the reader hmm, was not, let's say, the adolescent, but it was more, let's say, the, um, the, the housewife in her 40s and 50s. Hmm, that's the, the, the sociological... Um, robot photo of, of that readership. Um, but it's, it's fascinating. And, um, well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to, let's say, to... I don't have a real message to, to, to send out on the photo novel, but I try to, let's say, invite people to go to the, to, to the material itself and to make up, well, the... the to, to, to come up with their own um, opinion on what they, they read. I, I would like to invite you to come to, to Leuven, since 
I'm not only com collecting photo novels, but I'm collecting film photo novels, hmm? photo novels based on existing movies. And I have currently, I donated everything to the library, so it's open for all researchers. I have uh, some 4,500 different movies in film photo novels. All the Italian movies of it's the era, the, the, the years 1955, 1965. So please come visit and, and study and, um, and um, during my retirement I really want to, to let's say to, to collaborate on that corpus on a European level. So this is an invitation, standing invitation.